Thank you all. How many of you remember over 20 years ago when Frances Thaxton Ashe left her estate to Central to really help families in their homelessness and poverty? A good number of people out there. Yes, it's been 20, well, 22 years since Frances passed, but 20 years since Saranam was begun. In 2004, with our first four families, we were doing scattered site housing and classes in the church. And eventually, we bought an apartment complex across on the east side of town and have been working with our families there since 2005. Francis had a vision for and a challenge for the church to get involved in the issues around homelessness and poverty for families, and Saranam is what has grown from that vision. Saranam is a word that means refuge. If you want to look in your hymnal, you can turn to 528 and see the hymn that it comes from. So Saranam is a place of refuge for families to come and totally transform their lives through housing, education, and supportive communities. So 20 years ago, we began with our first four families, and since then we've served 172 families with nearly 400 children. And what that really means is that we are really impacting homelessness and poverty for generations of people here in Albuquerque. Those kids are growing up, they're graduating high school, they're even graduating college. We have a robust alumni program, and so we are actually following our families for years after they leave, and our stability rate is 86% of those families who left successfully remain stable post one year after they leave. They're buying houses, they're getting promotions, our families are just our neighbors. They are no longer living in hom homelessness and poverty. And this was the seed that was planted 20 years ago here at Central. Now we are working with, um, we have about 15 families that we're working with right now, working on education. So we provide everything a family needs to live for free for up to two years. So that's their housing, all of their um, living needs and supplies, child care is covered so that those parents can go to school. Education really is the next step to providing um, the long-term employability and long-term socioeconomic stability that our families can achieve. So we send our families to school. We do a lot of life skills education so that when they get a job that can support their family, they know how to live stably with finances, with parenting, with effective communication, and all of the things that help keep a keep a family stable once they have found a way to support their family. The third step is that community. And after listening to Andy talk about love and relationship, that really is what that community piece is all about. It is building those healthy, supportive relationships with the people around us that really help keep us on the right path, that support us through all, all of the changes and that really help us live our healthiest and most robust lives. So through housing, education, and supportive communities, we are transforming the lives of children and families here in Albuquerque, and that starts here at Central. As you know, we've been working on building a second campus on the west side of Albuquerque. I get all kinds of questions about it. We have the first 10 homes out of 25 nearly ready to move into. We ordered a part a year ago and we are waiting for it. <laughs> it's our fuse boxes so you can't start anything without them. But we have 63 applications for a spring intake for the first time on our second campus. And we are ready to jump as soon as we get that occupancy. We'll let you know. But our vision is even bigger than doubling our capacity on our second campus. Um, our campus is going to be beautiful. It's, a, it's, it's green, it's about renewable um, energy, green, uh, emerald green build, and it's really about transforming a piece of land that is barren into a community with love and families and staff and many volunteers. And we're not gonna stop there. Our board and some of our volunteers are really working on the vision of what the next 10 years looks like. 10 years ago, this campus was our biggest vision. 
and we are just about to move into that, to that campus. It should be ready by quarter one next year, all finished. And so how do we share what we have found um, that is helping families really reestablish their relationships with their children, relationships with others, and relationships in the community with other cities? We're talking about replication. We're talking about evaluating ourselves and becoming better and validating the model that was come up with, with central folks over 20 years ago. It is really an exciting time to be a part of Serenom, and I know many of you already are. I see a lot of really familiar faces out there, and a lot of, um, our, most of what we do comes from our volunteers. We have over 700 volunteers in our community now, giving over 4,800 hours of volunteer time, and that too is building that community with love. We had a family who moved in recently that was really nervous about going back to school. And when we saw that and he told one of our staff people, I'm really, you know, never was good at school. I'm really nervous about what this is gonna look like. I don't know that I can do it. We have been assessing ourselves consistently so that we know that what we're doing is working and making changes if there are things that needed to be improved. And so we were able to say to this dad, you know what, our data shows if you just show up, you're gonna be just as successful as anyone else. And that's a pretty high bar. We have about an 80% success rate at exit. And so can you put your shoes on and come to class on Monday? Just keep showing up. And he's like, yeah, I can do that. I can put my shoes on and show up. And he's done that um, every day since then. And that afternoon, I was closing the day, this is our orientation, and said, what are your ahas? What did you learn about yourself or someone else today? And this dad said he got hope today. So not only is he feeling the community support and the love, but he got hope, which is that internal kind of shift and agency in, in, him, in his own self. Hope for his family, hope for his children, and that's what our community of faith and our community of Serenom can do together. So thank you so much for walking with us these last 20 years and for joining with us now and to the next 20. I, we are having a reception and you at the reception will be hearing a story. And this is a little ironic because Frances is telling her story. And that's F-R-A-N-C-E-S, just like our founder, Frances Thaxton Ash. So we've come full circle. Um, and I really am here to thank you for being the faithful community that we are, for being the love that our families feel when they walk into their apartment that very first day, for being the community that carries our families through those tough times and the hard work of going to school and making a career and the hard work of becoming better parents. Thank you for walking with us. Nobody does this alone. We're in it together. Come with me again. Let's renew our joy and our passion for families here at Serenom and at Central. Join us at, after church at one in the Life Center. Thank you. <laughs>